Hi folks, little remote shoot today. Welcome to the Hudson auction. I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys around a little bit. The folks who own this place are, they are a club that deals with a lot of, you know, old, old equipment. There's one of their displays right there. And I guess this is how they raise money. And what you do, like if you want this, you write the number down on your card and you, uh, w when the auctioneer comes up and starts tapping, uh, you know, you bid on it or, or not. And uh, you win, you lose. There's a bunch more stuff for sale on the end of that building is, uh, is stuff more of their, their tractors and so forth. So, this is my first time here. I'm not normally an auction person. I've been to auctions and I seem to do better on Craigslist. Um, so that's, that's normally how, how I do my stuff. Um, but, my buddy Charlie wanted to try it out, or he actually he comes here all the time, well whenever they have it. I guess it's a yearly thing, and uh, horseshoes. So yeah, he, I don't I don't know what this stuff is going to go for. I recognize some of the people floating around as uh, as sharks from. Uh, from down south where I live and I guess some of those people no, might even say the same yeah. thing but it can be done I about me so the auction starts at about 8.30 it's 7.30 now so uh, you know kind of previewing the stuff and once again anything I like I would uh like this guy here, right? I think you can see no title. Um, I don't, I'm not into it, so I'm not writing the number down. But, uh, you know, once again, you write the number down, you kind of watch where the auctioneers are. Now, they have three auctioneers going all at the same time. So you gotta kind of pay attention or work with a partner. That way you, uh, if, if you want something or he wants something, you could uh, you could kind of work it right you could you know he'd give you a maximum number of what he's willing to pay and then uh, you go you go place that bid now the last thing I'd want to do though is not get here as early as we did because first of all parking parking was a lot easier given that we got here early I mean we're we're right on the edge of the lot over there and um, rather than park a hundred miles away because if you buy something small once you buy it it's yours which means you got to move it or somebody's gonna you know could take it on you right because once again once you buy it it's yours it's no you're responsible for it right they don't assign somebody to guard your stuff um, so parking is critical also if you're interested in something like let's say a mini bike it's a good idea to pull the string right you might be bidding on it thinking that well here's a here's a wonder thinking that it's uh, in nice shape and uh, it may or may not be yeah somebody uh, it looks like a high school project there of some sort Right, or maybe, maybe uh, I assume this is how you engage the clutch. That's a gas pedal, or maybe that's a brake. Well, actually, it's the uh, it's got the torque converter on it. Yep. Well, it looks like a couple of old. You guys tired of looking at stuff yet? I'm just gonna go a little more rotor tailors. To me, I'd rather have this stuff and have the owner out there and uh, when you got when you got all this kind of stuff and
people are competing against each other, you could, uh, you could kind of, I think, talking to the owner directly and looking him in the eye, you could get a little bit better deal. My experience, I don't know. Some of you guys do auctions, 231, Flash particularly, right? You probably know more about this stuff already than I'll, I'll learn in my lifetime because you've been doing it for a while. Um, I don't know if auctions are a little different depending on where you are. If, um, if you're upstate New York, if it's different than if you're uh, out, out in Chicago or down in North Carolina. I don't know if there's kind of behaviors that are expected or unexpected or, y you know, uh, if, if things are different. Hey, go on, old Susie. Okay, well, I think you guys know what I'm up to today. I'm probably going to be busy most of the day, so this will either get posted late tonight or uh, tomorrow morning. So, old Harvey signing out. It is Saturday, May 14th, I think. You all have a great day. Remember to keep your feet down and keep your head up. Take care now, folks.